Hey guys, I just wanted to go into a quick uh, Texas Hold'em poker strategy. Um, this is a uh, very, very, very rough and basic, uh, just enough to get you by if it's your first time playing. Um, right now, uh, we've hit the button set and blinds are already in place. I'm gonna deal everything face up just so everybody could, you know, see what's going on here. All right, and then, so a hand like this, um, Generally, you know, the hands wouldn't be shown here, but, you know, this guy with no knowledge of anything that's going on. Uh, right now, uh, with four people at the table, he may feel that, you know, he's, you know, he's got like a pretty good hand right now. Um, you know, he may opt to raise, or he may just want to just call and, you know, see if he can improve this by getting another five. Um, but um, I'll just uh, place a bet right here. Um, let's say he calls. A uh, hand like this, uh, generally, any hand with, you know, that's, you know, like 2-6 or 2-7 or, you know, 3-8 or anything which is a bunch of low numbers, they're generally considered, like, really bad hands to play. So, uh, I'll say this guy is going to fold. Um, you know, it's like if you were to treat, you know, if you were to treat your poker hand like a blackjack hand, like where, you know, like aces are 1 or 11 or, you know, they, like face cards are 10, uh, basically, if you got it, something adds up to 19, then that's a good hand to play. Um, anything less than that, you know, you probably want to stay away from. But uh, anyway, um, and with the pair of aces, you know, he's going to want to, you know, he's got like a monster hand, so he's going to want to raise. So uh, we'll just, uh, we'll have him raise 10, you know, because, you know, don't know, you know, exactly what stakes, you know, whatever stakes you're going to play that this same rule would apply. Um, and then the player here with the, you know, with the jack 10, they're both of diamonds, they're both connected. You know, he's got a good possibility of getting maybe a straight or a flush by the river. So let's say he's gonna come along and the guy with the fives thinks he's gonna get lucky. So he's gonna come along as well. This is all gonna come here in the pot. All right, one card gets burned. All right, and now, you know, the guy with, uh, with the aces, he's, he's what's called an overpair. You know, the board has got a four, jack, and a three. Uh, the jack is the highest card here. He's got an overpair to the board, so even if somebody, like this guy, who's got a jack, you know, he's gonna think he's good at this point. So it's like if he sits and bets, say 20, then the guy with the, you know, the jacks, he's probably gonna wanna come along with this, all right? Now, the guy with the lower pair, you know, with the smaller pair, he came in with the intention of getting a, you know, like a, you know, a set, which is a set is, you know, like three of a kind, you know, with, you know, two in your hand and then one on the one on the board. So since he didn't get that, he'd probably want to fold this here, All right? So now this money goes into the pot. Another card gets burned, turn comes up. It's a king, All right? So now, you know, this guy might want to bet again, All right? Like say he wants to bet forty because he still has an overpair to the board. Uh, the guy with the jacks. Right now, if somebody else had a king, he may have him beat. So now he's gonna think really hard about it. He says, okay, well, whatever, I came here to gamble. So he ends up calling. All right, another card gets burned. River comes up a king. All right, so now, you know, with, you know, with the aces, the only thing he would be worried about is if he had like a couple of jacks or if he had a king in his hand. So say he's afraid of the king, he decides to check. And then, you know, this guy decides to check as well. So what does, uh, ends up happening, the cards get flipped over, and then this is the best hand, right, which beats his, uh, which beats his kings and jacks. So, you know, kings with aces would take the hand. Uh, generally, if you, have a, you know, if you have a really good hand, it's a good idea to bet. Uh, like a lot of times, like new players will try to get like really fancy and kind of like act like they don't have anything and then you know, just kind of like spring traps on people. But, um, you know, if, if you're new to the game, basically just bet out your cards. And, you know, if you, you know, the cards start going away, then you will win. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's a very basic strategy for uh, Texas Hold'em.